Hi, it's Claire. So what we're going to do in this demo is we're going to uh, create these wire work connectors here. So you can see them there. So they're a nice versatile uh, piece of wire work that you can uh, use with your beading thread and your crimps like I have there in the necklace. So you can see I've popped pop two into that necklace there. So if I show you all the way around it, so you can see, so that's the front and then that's the back there. So that's just working. So I've got my, my beading thread coming through and a crimp there. So you can also work with it with, again, just purely with wire work. So you can see I've used it on the, on the earrings here and I've just used some uh, 0, 0.4 and a pearl there. So it's a nice, nice versatile connector that you can use in lots of, um, lots of pieces of jewellery. So starting point um, is so with the, uh, the wires, you're going to work with your, um, your finer 0 0.4 you can see there, and then your more structural wire, heavier gauge, so your your 0.8. And because this is sterling silver, so we've got uh, we've got a meter of each. So I'm going to measure out some of it so that we know exactly how much we're working with. So we can see there. Tools wise, we're going to work with. Um, you'll need a chain nose pliers, uh, your round nose pliers, and your cutters. You don't really need any uh, any other tools, um, anything else specialised. Quite a nice, simple. I'd definitely say sort of a, a beginner type um, piece of wire work. Okay, so our starting point is going to be. So we're going to work with our, our structural wire. So we need to take out and cut, we're going to cut uh, two lots of ten centimeters. Okay, so I'm just going to run this through my fingers to get rid of get rid of any kinks. So you can see it's also making it really nice and, and shiny as well. So with all with all wire work, if you can get rid of those those kinks beforehand before you start, it just gives you a, a head start in, in having a really nice neat piece of piece of wire work. So I'm just get getting rid of those any bends. Okay, so I'm going to come in now with my ruler and I want to measure out. 10 centimeters. So we want to make sure that it's nice and even with this because we want our <clears throat> we want our spirals that we're going to do. We want those to look fairly even as well because we're going to have four all quite close to each other. So if, if you if you cut in different lengths at the start, they're not going to be even as well. So if you can get it so that it's just measure out your 10 centimeters rather than just guessing it, that, that should help. So I'll just pop that against there. So we know we've got 10 centimetres on that one. So just cut the same, we've got 10 centimetres there. Okay, so we've got our two lots of the structural wire that are nice and straight, no kinks in it. And we can leave this on the reel, we don't need to cut this yet. Okay, so I'll just move that out of the way. So what I'm gonna do with the structural wire is I'm gonna crisscross them so they're going like that. I want to start this so that it's fairly, so it's as close as we can get it really to the to the center. And just a small tail. So if I just pick up the one at the moment. So I'm going to just pop this and just give that only a couple of just wraps around so that that has caught onto that structural wire. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to snip that that tail off actually so we don't get confused with it. Just make sure you're snipping off the right bit. I'm going to pick up my second structural wire. So I'm crossing them here. So this wire now I've wrapped it so that it's coming across over the top. So I'm going across here. So if I hold this bit hopefully you'll be able to see. So we're going around one full wrap push around nicely and get those so that they're sitting. So it's a full cross so if I just move it like that, if you have it so that it's like that, so it's a bit more of a, um, an angle, so you've got wider angle here and narrow angle there, then you're going to end up with a uh, more, it's a rectangular connector. So if you want it to be the square, you really have to get them. So you've got your 90 degrees there. Okay, so I'm going to go across and wrap once, over to the next one and wrap next to the next one, make sure it hasn't come out of shape so we've got even angles and wrap over. So I'm working and I'm going anti-clockwise. So I'm going to keep going and wrapping, pushing it up so that the binds are next to each other and making sure you want it to so they're going sitting next to each other. We're not, we don't want it so that it's, we want this central bit where we, we've got this wrapping to be flat. So these binds need to go 
so they're sitting next to each other, not on top of each other. Nice and taut. And I'm going across like this. So this technique is really nice to do as well if you wanted to um, work and, and maybe make a, a spider's web is a really uh, good way of doing it. So you just have more structural wires, but it's the same, same technique. And you have actually got, you've got a back and a front to this as well. So you've got two different styles. So I'm gonna go a few more and keep wrapping. So I'm keeping it nice and taut pressing it down so I'm flattening it you can see with, with this thumb here and going across and across again so one single wrap and just moving it all the time so it's going there okay so I'm going to leave that so we'll see so I know that I want about on this section here and I can just adjust these if they've moved out of place. So you want to look for about around about four, <clears throat> four and a bit centimetres. Yeah, so I could do a little bit more, not too much because I don't want to use all of my 0.4 on this one connector. So I'll do a couple more. So I'm just going around just to make that centre bit a little bit bigger. So I'm going to leave it at that. So a couple of wraps there, just so that, that is nice and secure on there and snip that off. We've got this section there. So you can see it's a very much a back and a front. So this is the front. If we turn it over, you can see you've got more of a spine and you can see those wraps there. Both look nice, but I'm going to have it so that this is, this is the front. So the bit that we want to go on to now is doing our spirals. So you can see I've already done, I've done the three of them on there. Okay, so again, because this is nice, simple wire work, we want it to be as neat as possible. So the spirals are going, starting from the outside, and they're going to go on the in, inside. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers. I'm starting right at the tip here, and I'm going to push in and start to curl round. So I have got a little bit of a straight edge there. So I'm just going to snip that off, because if I don't snip that off, then I won't get a nice circle on the rest of it. And so I'm going to go in and push round. When I've gone to about so that it's almost touching, I'm going to swap my pliers now. So if I just hold that there. So I've got, I've got the, the little loop that I've made and that's gone into my chain nose pliers. And now I'm going to turn. So I'm holding the, holding the wire and supporting it here and it's that action with my wrist. So I'm just gripping across and turning in so that I'm getting that neat spiral just moving my hand up so it's going in towards the center and because what we've hopefully done is we've, we've made these so that these are nice and even so we're in about that just over the four centimeters so what you should get because you're working with the same length of, of wire every time it should that should mean hopefully fingers crossed that your spirals then become all the same size because you're working with the same same amount of wire on each one. So you can see now, so if we're looking at it in terms of a, of a connector, you've got lots of points now. So you've got your one, two, three, four points that you can hang from there. So what I've done with mine, if I, I'll show you both, both ways of how I've worked with it. If I just cut a little bit of my 0.4. So you can see what I can do is I can take one of the pearls. So if I just pop that through there, and I go through the through the holes in here and through this hole in here and I can come up like that. So if I wanted to connect off this, what I could do is I could almost do my wrap loop like that. So I'm going to do a couple of wraps with this small tail. Just bring that round and snip off there. And then I could add in another pearl there. So you could add a jump ring there if you wanted to. So I can just hold this and do a wrap loop at this point, which means so you could uh, be very, very nice to a rosary link if you wanted to. So if I just come in and snip that off there, so I can now connect onto this side. And if you wanted to, 
So if I take some crimps, you could work with your beading thread like I have. So we'll take a length of beading thread. So I'll just take that off there. So again, so you'd be coming up through, so I'm going to add my crimp, pick my crimp up, come up through the centre, thread on one of my pearls. So you can see those two loops in the middle of the spiral. So if I bring that through there and then back through the crimp there, get that so it's sitting evenly. And just crimp in there. So I'm going to bring that crimp down. And just bring that in. And then you can start to thread. So you can see there's lots of different ways you can use that, that connector in lots of different pieces of jewellery. And give it give it a little buff up, or you could hammer it as well, hammer, hammer the spirals. So it's a nice versatile little link. And what you could also do is you could do both of the demos and both of the connectors with the wire work and add them together. It'd be a nice look too. Thanks very much everyone. Bye.